Alright, so this is part two to the uh, levels of TF2 classes. Let's call it that. Level of two TF2 classes. Engineer. This is Random Pixel's favorite class. Your level one engineer. They're going to start experimenting with the class. Obviously, they have stock wrench. They're not going to use stuff I'm using. Uh, no cosmetics. In fact, they probably don't even know what a cosmetic is like every other level one. So, they're going to probably just flick through all this. They're going to be like, what the heck? Okay, build. Let me place this. Okay, just okay. build one, pal. Yeah, they're just going to build and build and build. That's all they're really going to do. Do I hear a capper? Hey, uh, hey uh, Lewis. Yeah. Why, uh, just a random fucking question. Uh, what are you building, like, right now? What am I building right now? Where? Oh, I, I can't let you know that, bro. Hey, Lewis. Yeah? Random question here. From random pixels. <laughs> Where might you be building in this exact time and space continuum? Come on, man. I'm doing it for the video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so level 2 engineer. They're gonna start taking their sentries and moving it out towards positions you know that might be favorable. They're not good, they, they might build them right there. They might build them where I built it. It's not the best spot in the world, honestly. Uh, they might put it in a place like here. They might have a gene. They might be a genius and place it right there. That's one of the, one of the best spots on this map to place it. It denies them access to your. Uh... Well, then again, it's too far, so. Yeah, it is too far, but it denies them access to that area entirely and some of that area. Uh, right here is a good spot, but that's for your experienced engineers, probably like level three or four for this right here. They've uh... also watched Uncle Dane's popular online <laughs> YouTube video. Yeah, they probably have. Uh, no, I'm muting Captain Plutus. Jesus Christ. I'm about to get copyright strike because of this guy. Mute him. I just did. Uh, Fucking nerd. In addition, right, you're going to be probably getting killed and having your entire sentry nest wiped constantly. Uh, you Eventually, eventually you'll learn how to rotate your uh, sentry and place them in stupid spots like right here. So when they try to do stuff with intel, like, oh, fuck, and get killed. Either way, from down there or from over here, they're going to die. Great ideas, you know. That's going to be your level 3s, level 2, maybe. And they're just going to be, you know, playing engineer. They probably will not be able to place down good tellies. They're going to place a telly right there that goes to, like, fucking here, maybe. That's going to be your level 1s, 2s, and 3s. Damn, it's already getting sapped, and I just fucking left. What is this? And now my dispenser, bro? Whatever. Uh, level 4 sentries. Once you start, I mean, level, <laughs> level 4 sentries, I imagine. Level 4 engineers. That's when you're going to start seeing your engineer gaming. You know how much we love our engineer gaming. So fucking lootly. Hey, Lewis. Yeah. Random question for random pixels here. Might you be building in this exact time and space? All right, how, how about you take a turn? Tell them about level four, five, and six engineers. Uh, I'd rather be the silent dumbass trying to sap your sentry. <laughs> what bro, do you mean I wasn't disguised? Bro, bro. What do you bro, mean? Bro. What do you mean I wasn't disguised? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, well at level 4, they're probably going to start using different wrenches and different weapons, you know. They might have started at level 3, probably not, but, you know. Uh, they're probably still getting wiped by demo men. They might have even picked up the short circuit so they can clear stuff. Absolute mad lads, by the way. If they've persevered this far after getting their shit kicked in like every fucking day. Just play on Dust Bowl, Lamau. Yeah, I'll just play on Dust Bowl. <laughs> <laughs>
And so you got your uh, level fours, now you're level five engineers. That's when things start getting crazy, right? Because now they know where to place entrances. They hide their entrances. They know where to place their exits. They place them in like absolutely crazy spots. Like, for instance. No, fuck you. Where, where would be an absolute genius spot for a telly? Uh, the enemy's intel is one of them, absolutely. Too like, uh, teleport straight to it and you'll camp in the enemy intel. That's something a little 5 engineer would do. Absolute <laughs> mad lads. Now, level 6 engineers. How do I put this? Some of the sweatiest people alive are level 6s. That goes for any class, really, but specifically level 6 engineer. They're, they're going to be trying their hardest to be the NG main that everybody wants to be. They, they want to be Uncle Dane. They, they want to be a god. Not everyone can get past level 6. Because in order to get past level 6, you got to learn to accept the destruction of your stuff. You need to run Rescue Ranger. Not Rescue Ranger, sorry. Frontier Justice. Frontier oh, Justice, absolutely. Wrangler, Jag. That's the death combo. If there's somebody running this setup, they either watch the video or. Oh shit. Alright, well, if they, uh. If they're running this combo, they're most likely at level 6. It's about to go to level 7. Lewis. Yeah. About what time do you see Battle Engineer start to pop up? Battle Engineer? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's around level 7. Beginning of level 7. Mm. Because uh, beginning of level 7, right, is when your engineer is confident enough to leave their NG nest and use the Frontier Justice to get kills, and then get their uh, sentry killed. They, they might even be running mini sentry. They'll, uh, they'll be getting their sentry killed so they can get a random crit off. Random as in... Uh, they're in a... They're in a Sorry. They're they're in a fucking fight, right? They're in a fight, <laughs> and sorry, sorry for pausing there for a second. I, I have to think sometimes because I'm playing the game at the same time. I'm not I'm not a god, you know, like a level nine engineer. But yeah, uh, he's not Uncle Dane, the engineer. <laughs> not main. Uncle Dane, the engineer main. <laughs> hey, Lewis. Yeah. Where might you be at the time and moment? Oh, you're in cell. Where I was. So, level level seven is is just more of the same, you know. They they know how to play the game. They, that's when you start seeing battle ng for the first time. Uh, let's see what else. Not really that much, you know, battle ng beginnings. Uh, level eight is when you're gonna see Uncle Dane gaming. Without that the is Uncle Dane. So many. Why is there three of you fucks in here? Jeez. Can I join blue? Hold up. I gotta join. No. I'm gonna attack no. this with engineer gaming. It's gonna be in the title. Engineer gaming, but see if two auto balance fucks us in the ass. <laughs> ah! I've been discovered. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I've been discovered. Level 8s are when they definitely watch Uncle Dane. Like, I'm talking, they check every day to make sure there's not a new upload or something going on in the TF2 community. They might even be watching Whammo, you know. Just on the I'm, side. I'm... And they, they live by the stages of Engineer, which I think, I think I've watched. I'm not 100% on that. Hey, Lewis. Oh my god, I'm bugging out. <laughs> I see you skipping there. I see you skipping around. Bro, I was literally under the floor because of a spy, and I, I was like bugging out. <laughs> no, fuck you, fuck you. Damn. Spy that's gaming. uh, that's fucked, bro. Spy gaming. <laughs> spy gaming. Good work, boys. Unfortunate, unfortunate. So, 
level <laughs> level nine engineer. Level eight engineer, you know, they're 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 a good engineer. Like no matter what, like they know what they're doing. They probably run Wrangler and get fucking kills. Level nine engineer. They play Highlander. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an entirely separate tier system. <laughs> nah. But if they are, they probably joke? use Jag. They probably use Jag. Like, Why do they honestly. keep making that joke for no reason? So... How, how do I, I put this? The only existing level 9 engineer... Is Uncle Dane. Is engineer. Uncle Dane, the engine man. Like, <laughs> that, that's just blatant at this point, you know? Right. What can you do? Ah! Like, Uncle Dane is just... The man, oh, the Lord, myth, Lord. the legend, the level 9 NG. And he's who I look up to because I love playing Engineer. And that concludes the NG. No. Heavy. How do I put okay. this? How do I time, put this? <laughs> time to play Sniper. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't even play Heavy, like honestly. Maybe, maybe my gameplay will give me an insight on, on the levels for Heavy. I mean, I play Heavy once in a blue moon, so... The level the level 1 Heavy, they, they do what I do. They rush towards the enemy, they pull out the minigun, and they shoot, and they die. That's just... That's how it goes for level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That, that's all they do. is they, they pull it out, they probably get a kill or two, and they die. Wait, what can no, I say? Luck, it's just... Yeah, and if there's a Luxman, it's even worse. If they're using what Machina, it's even take? worse. The Your enemies I'm talking about. They try to do what I just did, which is long range heavy, which never fucking works. You know, they probably run out of ammo if they're somewhere in that level, that range. Fucking hell. Random demo night. <laughs> All right, you're 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 level six heavy. That's where it's starting to get. You know, they probably have vintage items. They're probably running Natasha if they're on defense, or Brass Beast if they're on defense, or Hulong Heater if they're on offense. Tomislav if they're intelligent. Um, they might be running Family Business. You know, I, I like my Family Business. Uh, let's see, running gloves of boxing or the uh gloves of running urgently. Love this weapon. You need it, especially if you're using Brass Beast. Damn. <laughs> and uh, personally, most most level sixes are intelligent enough to use the Thomas Love. It's not an upgrade to stock, but you know everybody who, who's a somebody that uses heavy uses the Thomas Love. Level 7 heavy. How can I say this? Pray you don't meet a level 7 heavy. Because they will ruin your fucking day. Especially if they're being pocketed. Oh my god. They will clear a sentry nest. And when I say sentry nest, I mean three sentries and an intel on one uber. Jesus. Level 7 heavies are the cornerstone of heavies. Level 6 is fine and all, but it, it's like a great divide. It, you're either stuck at level 6 heavy or you make it to level 9. So, level 7 heavy. Mine's a random heavy! Damn it. Level 7 heavies are the, the first step on a path to greatness. They will be probably top scorer on the team 80% of the time if they're a level 7 heavy just the for the fact that not work? they the know how sorry I'm burping over here uh, they know how the game works they know how their weapon spread works and they know how to get kills at long range which is they basically don't but you know if, if they know you're low and they can get a few paw shots on you they're going to get a few paw shots on you they're going to kill you Level 8 heavy, more of the same, you know. They will be top of the team most of the time. They will be absolutely heavy gaming, if you will. That's like, oh my god, I'm popping off as hybrid knight. Jesus Christ.
as you can see, this guy over here, running gloves of boxing, which is what I like to call him. I think it's my weapon. Uh, sorry, I think it's the name of the weapon, or at least the weapon name that I used always. I don't know why, but you know. Okay, random soldier. Uh, what else can I say about level 8s? Uh, yeah, they're just really fucking good at the game. They probably put like a thousand hours into heavy alone. Level 9 heavy. Probably the third, maybe second or third most common level 9 that actually exists. Jesus Christ is a level 9 heavy annoying as shit. Because they're always going to be waiting behind and shooting you. Like, th there's no backstabbing these fuckers. You have to catch them off guard. That You have to pretend to be, like, fucking... You, you just have to be the spy. You have to be the spy main in order to get that shit done. They will always fuck them up. And they play on Highlander. And they play on Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> this objectively, level 9 heavies are fucking crazy in the head. Like, like me. The, the amount of hours they've had to put in in order to reach this point is absolutely baffling. Oh, that was so close. Are you just gonna be chilling up there? Because if so, I'm gonna fucking snipe your ass. Consider that preemptive warning. That's not me up there, by the way. It was absolutely you, but okay. So, let me switch the class now that I'm done with level 9. Final class of the defense, you know. Well, unquote. I, I don't like playing this on stock, personally. Quote unquote defense. Yeah, quote unquote defense. Level no. ones, they're all right. I mean, it's hard not to be a good level one demo man. Like you just pop shots. As long as you make your mark, you get a kill. Level twos is when they start using the sticky launcher. Right, except they they probably don't know how to sticky jump. That's level three. Level twos, they're gonna place it, and they're probably gonna forget about it, and they're they're gonna be spamming their bombs, their 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 fucking rollers, right, and accidentally click it and kill themselves. Right, that's just what's gonna happen. Level threes, they don't do that. They don't use two for that shit when they could have just used one. Bruh. But yeah. Nine. What the fuck? Your uh, level it's two demos are going you. to be spamming rollers everywhere. You you do not want to deal with these spammy level twos just for the fact that they're bad, but they they still kill you. Now, level threes, that's when they're gonna understand. You know, sticky here, boom. Pull out sticky launcher. Trap this. Trap that. Boom. Don't get Huntsman, like me. But, yeah, that's your level 3s. Your level 4s, you know, they, they, they might have uh, switched over to using Islander and Tide Turner. No, they won't use Tide Turner. They use Charge and Targe with Islander, and they probably use Iron Bomber. So, these are your level 4s and probably level 5s, just based off the Targe and Charge. Because a level 5 demo will just have an assortment of different weapons he uses. For his primary. Uh, let's see. Let's skip to the level six. Level six is the absolute bane of Uncle Dane society. Now, how about you take this one away, Random Pixels? Why, why don't you tell them about the level six demos? I really don't feel like it because I'm gonna get PTSD. <laughs> that that should just show you how these level six demos. The Jesus Christ. Thing I see my sentry, next second it's fucking gone. I can't believe it. They will rush up to your sentry and kill your entire nest before you even know what happened to it. Fucking destroyed. Level 6 demos are not the turning point for demos. The, the, the sky is the limit on a demo, honestly. Like, they're just they're that good. Demo is just that good of a class. There's if you can't demo. play demo... You can't play the fucking game. They're a generalist class, so obviously. Like, Demo is the second easiest class to play. The easiest class to play is Pyro. But, fucking Demo. Demo just has that much damage potential. Second easiest is Heavy. 
No, second easiest is demo, third easiest is heavy. Because for the simple fact you have to work around the whole uh, being slow as balls thing. And getting yeah. backstabbed frequently because you're a target. Alright, so level 7 demo man. Oh boy, oh boy, do we start seeing the lock and load. Absolute mad lads using the lock and load. Personally, I cannot use the lock and load. It just does not work for me. Like, I just, I can't wrap my head around the fact that I need to make contact with this thing. Like, I just, I cannot hit shots with this. It's just not my weapon. You say it as you one-shot me. Oh, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, your level 7s <laughs> are going to be getting kills with lock and load, and they're, they're going to be decimating the enemy team. And that's going to hold true for your level 8s and almost your level 9s. On level 9s, you're probably going to be seeing the cannon. The cannon and the cannon. For the simple fact that you can control when it goes off. Probably only your level 8s and 9s can figure out the timing on this. Because they've just put the time into learning all aspects of this class. Probably at least a thousand hours on this class. If they're level 9s. You know, they, they see a sentry nest and they're like, okay. Yeah, fuck that. You're getting fucked up. Let me try that. Maybe that'll work. So. Sorry, I'm trying to like play like the class counters to the class that you're playing. <laughs> What's well, class counter to demo? I mean, shit, dude. It's the only thing you can play a scout, yeah. Scout because of the insane movement. Alright. Level 9 demos, you know, to sum it all up, they're gonna be probably using Sticky Jumper, uh, Ula Pool. I'm just kidding, that's, that's not actually what's gonna happen. They, they might use Sticky Jumper, they're probably gonna use Pain Train, because it's just, it's OP as shit when you're on a capture rate thing. And... Probably just base grenade launcher is fine. Lock and load, definitely. Uh, just everything that's good, really. Except they won't be using, like, base jumper and shit. Personally, I just like going and, uh... Bumping into a random fucking... Using the sticky jumper, pulling out the Willow Pool Caber, and just fucking, boom. Fucking up the snipers with it. Oh, shit. Lock and load. Oh shit. Classic sniper. Alright. That will sniper. end part two of the Levels of Classes series.